welcome again to one of uh, Tony's uh, Kind Thought videos. Um, this is a series of eight videos which I'm going to be bringing to you all about the books by uh, Thomas Troard, the amazing inspirational writer um, way, way back in the early 1900s. But to tell you a little bit about where I am, I'm actually in a place called Porto de la Cruz, which is in the Canary Islands. And this is an absolutely beautiful location, uh, lush gardens, a place for people to uh, chill and completely relax. In fact, the building behind me, uh, which I shall show you a photograph in a minute, is actually an English library. So uh, I've even got books here to, uh, to borrow uh, as part of one of the uh, hotel guests. So um, you may be thinking it's strange that I'm sending you this uh, video um, while I'm on holiday. But you know, one of my friends once said to me, how do you know if you're actually uh, following your life's purpose? How do you know if you if you found your life's purpose? And well, here's the answer. If you're still thinking about your dreams and about your aspirations and the things you absolutely love to do while you're on holiday, then you found it. So um, on with Thomas Troard. Anyway, he was an amazing author. And uh, I actually read one of his books about a, um, a year ago and I found it really, really a very, very difficult read. In fact, I had to make many notes. And as any good teacher uh, tries to do, I want to share those uh, series of notes with you and try and break down something which is incredibly complicated in a series of, of eight videos. And the first thing really about uh, Thomas Troard that uh, we need to understand is that he talks about this subjective infinite um, spirit that runs through all time and space it's everywhere in all places at the same time and uh, that's within you it's everywhere and it, it's something which is a bit difficult to understand but this subjective spirit is completely um, open to any suggestion or any thought that we have it's an area for creation what's really really interesting is that actually you yourself have this subjective spirit running through you now, this is the hard bit to understand, is that every thought that you have in the moment of here and now, they're the only thoughts that really resonate with this subjective spirit. And that is where creation takes place. So people ask me, well, how on earth do you get your, your head around something so uh, complicated? And the best way I could like to describe it is, if you imagine yourself as a clear uh, glass, and you had seawater inside that glass, now your body, your form, your spiritual form, um, so your spiritual um, form inside you. Imagine that as the, um, the seawater inside the glass. And the glass is your physical shell that you live in. Now, if you submerge that glass into the ocean, the outside would be seawater, um, just like the inside of the glass. But um, the two really are linked. And in the same way that that glass would float around in the ocean, we ourselves are floating around amongst a sea of subjective spiritual creativity if you like and it's hard to understand but that's the best way that I can really understand it so imagine yourself as this creative spiritual being also linked to an infinite um, spiritual force that runs across the whole of the universe and everywhere you are so what you want to do is hold those dreams um, those thoughts in the present now and uh, resonate those out as actually happening now so until I see you next time, what I want you to try and think about is uh, that spiritual essence. Maybe find a picture or a drawing of those uh, of that glass in the ocean with the seawater on the outside and the seawater inside the glass. And just imagine that you're floating around that creative, um, creative ocean of potential. So uh, until I see you next time on this series of videos, I want you to focus on that and uh, have a great week, you spiritual human being. Thank you.